Hello, today we shall talk about conic sections. Uh, these are very interesting curves on the plane. You have heard, of course, about parabola, circle, ellipse, hyperbola. Why are they called conic sections? Look at the picture. Uh, suppose you have a right circular cone in vertical position that goes up and down indefinitely. And we cut this cone by uh, planes. Now let's start with the circle, which is the easiest. When you cut the cone by a horizontal plane, you get circles. And if you move the plane up and down, you get a different radius. Now, uh, cutting with a slanted plane, you get ellipse. And uh, if you cut with the vertical plane, you get the hyperbola. So the intersection shows the two branches of the hyperbola here. Well, the parabola, think about the generating line, which is uh, uh, marked there in uh, red. This is the generating line of the cone. So when you spin this line, you can create the cone. So if you cut the cone by a plane which is parallel to this line, you get the parabola. Uh, and uh, we shall talk about the equations of these uh, uh, conic sections. Here is standard equation for the parabola. x squared equals 4py. Or uh, solved for y, this will be x squared divided by 4p. This is a parabola which opens up uh, and its vertex is at the center of the coordinate system. So a very standard parabola like that. And what is this p? Uh, look at the point on the vertical axis y which with coordinates 0p. This is a very special point called focus. So it has coordinates 0p uh, if the equation of the parabola is this. Why is the focus important? Uh, I shall make a new picture, not to overload this one. Suppose you have a parabola like that that opens up, and here is the focus. Uh, if you emit light rays from the focus, they reflect on the parabola as parallel rays. Here are two examples. They uh, are going uh, parallel to the vertical axis. Also, if you meet parallel rays, rays by uh, the parabola, they reflect and go to the focus. Uh, this is uh, very important in practice, in engineering practice. Uh, when you make a projector, for instance, you have a, a surface resembling parabola, uh, and you put the light source in the focus, and it emits a parallel rays. Uh, mirror surface uh, inside the parabola, of course. And uh, we're talking in general, uh, in practice, about a paraboloid uh, object in three dimensions, uh, which looks like this. And uh, some ways in the focus, and when you put the uh, Light source it emits parallel rays. Also, uh, to receive signals from satellites, you use parabolic dishes. Uh, they again, uh, the parallel uh, rays or waves coming from the signals coming from the satellite, they collect in the focus, and uh, that's how you get good uh, reception. Uh, that you receive at the same time many 
uh, many, many signals. Uh, so this amplifies uh, the reception. Uh, the dish that we use for TV reception or for some other si signals uh, in uh, Spanish it's called the antenna parabolic because of the parabolic shape. Okay, let's turn to the ellipse. Uh, here I want to write first a standard equation. So that's uh, the ellipse in standard position. Now this ellipse, uh, let's suppose here A is bigger than B and the ellipse will look like this. We mark A and negative A on the horizontal axis, B and negative B on the vertical axis. We connect these points like that to get our ellipse. So I'm doing my best, but uh, excuse me if I'm not, the um, last part of the ellipse is not very good. Uh, let's try to fix this one. Okay, here better. No, still not good. Well, this is a little bit bad. Uh, the ellipse has two focuses called foci. Uh, let's take the number c, which is square root a squared minus b squared. When a and b are different, this is non zero. And the, the two foci uh, in uh, Latin it's foci or foci. Here is, let's call it f1 and f to uh, something like that. They have coordinates, f1 is uh, c0, f2 is uh, symmetrical, negative c0. Uh, if you take, uh, now there are two properties I want to mention. If you connect both of these foci to a point on the ellipse p, then uh, this distance is constant. Uh, f1 p plus f2 p is constant. And this constant uh, actually equals uh, 2 times a. a is called the uh, bigger radius uh, B is called a smaller radius of the ellipse. So this uh, is a constant uh, quantity. And in the applets that uh, I will post, you can play with the ellipse and see how it can be drawn if you move uh, a pencil uh, attached, uh, a pencil inside a string attached to both foci. Uh, if you emit a light rain from one of the foci, let's say light rain like this, which will meet the ellipse, will be reflected to the other focus. Uh, so you can emit the light rays from one of them, they collect to the, to the other, other one. And, uh, this also has very important applications in practice. Uh, for instance, you can break kidney stones this way, and you can read in the textbook uh, exactly how this is done without uh, making an operation, without uh, entering inside the, the kidney, of course. And uh, here is the third important, uh, I, I would say the last important uh, curve, conic section, the hyperbola. Uh, I said the third because usually we count them uh, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, and the circle is uh, a particular case of ellipse when a equals b. 
So how does the herpebo look like? Uh, it's uh, this way. And again, we have two special points. Focus one, focus two. Uh, important uh, feature of the hyperbola is that if you take a point on the hyperbola, connect to both of these foci, then PF2 minus PF1 is constant. And by the way, here is the standard equation of the hyperbola x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. If we take the number c, which is square root uh, of uh, a squared uh, plus b squared, then uh, the, the two foci have coordinate c0 minus c0. Okay, and now let me show you what type of problems uh, we should be able to solve uh, about these curves. Here is one example. Given is the curve 3x squared plus 8y equals 0. This is a parabola. Uh, find the, the cones of the focus. So now, to solve this problem, we write again the standard equation of the parabola, 4PY, and uh, solve for x squared in the given equation. We have uh, 3x squared equals negative 8y, x squared equals negative 8 thirds y. And now, comparing to the standard equation, we have... Uh, 4p equals negative 8 thirds, p equals negative 2 thirds. The parabola that we have here opens down. You can write the same equation, uh, y equals negative 3x squared over 8. So it opens down like that. Here I'm making quick picture. Vertex is again at uh, 0, 0. Our parabola more or less looks like this. And the focus has coordinates 0, negative 2 thirds. And that's a very standard problem to solve. Another standard problem uh, given is the ellipse x squared over 36 plus y squared over 8 equals 1. Standard equation also called canonical equation uh, and uh, we want to find the coordinates of the fox fo foci. Uh, now remember how we find the coordinate c, this is square root a squared minus b squared. In our case, um, a squared is 36, b squared is 8. So we have uh, c equals square root 36 minus 8, which will be square root uh, 28, 
which we can write uh, 4 times 7, and this will be 2 times the root of 7. So the two fourths I have coordinates, f1 is in the place 2 root of 7, 0, and uh, f2 has coordinates negative 2 root of 7, 0. How does this ellipse look like? Here is the coordinate system, uh, and uh, a is 36, a squared is 36, so a will be uh, 6, let's write here a is 6, b is uh, root of 8, which is 2 root of 2. So we put uh, this uh, 6 here, that's uh, the right Atmos right vertex, negative 6 on the other side. 2 root of 2, uh, well, this is uh, possibly somewhere here. And here, negative 2 root of 2. So we just have to connect like that to get our ellipse. Very good ellipse. And uh, our Foci, F1 will be somewhere here, and F2 will be on the other side, symmetrically. So we uh, solve this problem, it's an easy problem. You just need to remember the canonical equation, the standard equation, and the formulas for the foci. Uh, I think that's enough for now. Uh, please, uh, Pay attention to the apples which I have posted, and we shall continue with the conic sections in polar coordinates. Goodbye.